Lesson 10-7 is on the areas of circles and sectors. Take a minute to read the learning goal and scale. Find where you are on the scale before we begin the lesson. We can find the area of a circle when we know its radius. We can use the area of a circle to find the area of part of a circle formed by two radii and the arc the radii form when they intersect the circle. This guy, this part of a circle, is called a sector. Let's begin with the area of a circle. To find the area of a circle, we'll use the product of pi and the radius squared. In example one, we will find the area of a circle. What is the area of the circular region on the wrestling mat? To find the area, we know we need the radius. Since they tell us the diameter of the wrestling mat is 32 feet, we need to start by finding the radius. We know that the radius is half the diameter, or 32 feet divided by 2. This gives us a radius of 16 feet. To find the area of a circle, we take pi times the radius squared. Since the radius is 16 feet, we will square 16, which gives us 256, then multiply it times pi for 256 pi. Now go ahead and use the pi key on your calculator to multiply 256 times pi. That gives us approximately 804.248 square feet, which is about 804 square feet. Pause the video and do you try number one. For part A, what is the area of a circular wrestling region with a 42 foot diameter? Let's start by finding the radius. We know the radius is half the diameter, or 42 divided by 2. That'll give us a radius of 21 feet. To find the area of a circle, we will use pi times the radius squared. Since the radius is 21 feet, we will square 21 for 441 and then multiply it by pi for 441 pi square feet. Now go ahead and use your calculator to multiply 441 times pi. That will give us approximately 1,385.44 feet, which is about 1,385 feet squared. For part b, if the radius of the circle is halved, how does its area change? Explain. Let's start by dividing 21, the old radius, by 2 to give us 10.5. Now let's use the formula to find the area, pi r squared, with 10.5 as the radius. 10.5 squared is 110.25, so we will have 110.25 pi. Now let's multiply 110.25 times pi for an area of approximately 346.36 square feet. This new area is approximately one-fourth the original area. The reason is we're taking one-half the radius, which is then squared. So one-half squared would be one-fourth. So the new area is one-fourth the size of the original area. A sector of a circle is a region bounded by an arc of a circle and the two radii to the arc's endpoints. We name a sector using one arc endpoint, the center of the circle, and the other arc endpoint. So this is sector RPS or sector SPR. The area of a sector is a fractional part of the area of the circle. The area of a sector formed by a 60 degree arc is 60 out of 360 degrees or one sixth of the area of the circle. To find the area of a sector of a circle, we will take the ratio of the measure of the arc to the entire circle times the whole area of the circle. In example two, we will find the area of a sector of a circle. What is the area of sector GPH? Leave your answer in terms of pi. Since arc GH has a measure of 72 degrees, Sector GPH is 72 degrees out of 360 of the entire area, or one-fifth the area of the circle. To find the area of the circle, we will take pi times the radius squared. So we'll take 15 squared, or 225, times pi, 225 pi. So the area of sector GPH will be one-fifth of the entire area, 225 pi. 
225 pi divided by 5 will give us 45 pi. So the area of sector GPH is 45 pi centimeters squared. Pause the video and do you try number 2. A circle has a radius of 4 inches. What is the area of a sector bounded by a 45 degree minor arc? Leave your answer in terms of pi. Let's start by drawing the circle. Here we have the arc that is 45 degrees, and we know the radius of the circle is 4 inches. Since the sector is 45 degrees out of 360 degrees, or 1 eighth of the circle, we want to find 1 eighth of the total area of this circle. To find the area, we'll take pi times the radius squared. Since the radius is 4 inches, the area will be 4 squared, or 16, times pi, so 16 pi inches squared. Since the area of the sector is 1 eighth of the entire area, 16 pi, we'll take 1 eighth times 16 pi. Since 16 pi divided by 8 is 2 pi, the area of the sector is 2 pi inches squared. A part of a circle bounded by an arc and the segment joining the endpoints is a segment of a circle. To find the area of a segment for a minor arc, draw radii to form a sector. The area of the segment will equal the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle formed. In example 3, we will find the area of a segment of a circle. What is the area of the shaded segment? Round your answer to the nearest tenth. We know the area of a segment is the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So let's start by finding the area of sector ACB. Since the measure of arc AB is 60 degrees, we know that the area of sector ACB will be 60 degrees out of 360 degrees of the area of the entire circle, or one-sixth of the area of the circle. We know the area of the circle is pi times the radius squared. Since the radius is 18, we will square that to get 324 times pi for 324 pi inches squared. So the area of sector ACB will be one-sixth of the entire area of the circle, 324 pi. 324 pi divided by 6 is 54 pi, so the area of the sector is 54 pi inches squared. Now we need to find the area of triangle ACB. We know that the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. We know the base is the same length as the radius, or 18 inches, but we need to find the height. If we draw in the altitude, we'll get a 30-60-90 triangle with a base or a short leg of half of 18, 9 units. We know the long leg of a 30-60-90 triangle is the square root of 3 times longer than the short leg, so the height will be 9 times the square root of 3. Since 18 times 9 radical 3 divided by 2 is 81 radical 3, the area of triangle ACB is 81 radical 3. To find the area of the segment, we want to take the area of the sector and subtract from it the area of the triangle. Now we need to use the calculator. Remember, since we're rounding our answer to the nearest tenth, we want to take our answers here out to the nearest thousandth, probably. So on your calculator, let's do 54 pi which gives us approximately 169.646. Now let's use the calculator to multiply 81 times the square root of 3, which will give us approximately 140.296. Now let's subtract the area of the triangle from the area of the sector. If we put these numbers in the calculator, the rounded numbers, our answer will be approximately 29.4. However, if we use these numbers and put them in the calculator, rounded, our answer will be approximately 29.3. So the area of the shaded segment is approximately 29.3 inches squared. Pause the video and do you try number three. 
What is the area of the shaded segment? Round your answer to the nearest tenth. In order to get the area of the segment, we want to take the area of sector PQR and subtract from it the area of triangle PQR. Since arc PR has a measure of 90 degrees, we know that sector PQR will be 90 out of 360 degrees of the entire area of the circle, or one-fourth of the area of the circle. To find the area of the circle, we'll take pi times the radius squared, or pi times 4 squared, which gives us 16 pi. The area of sector PQR will be one-fourth the entire area of the circle, 16 pi. 16 pi divided by 4 is 4 pi. So the area of sector PQR is 4 pi meters squared. Now we need to find the area of triangle PQR. We know the area of a triangle is the base times the height divided by 2. Since the base and the height are perpendicular to each other, our base and height in triangle PQR are 2 radii, so our base and height will both be 4 meters. 16 divided by 2 is 8, so the area of the triangle is 8 meters squared. To find the area of the shaded segment, we want to take the area of the triangle and subtract it from the area of the sector. Now let's use the calculator to multiply 4 times pi. Since 4 times pi is approximately 12.566, we'll leave that on the calculator and subtract 8 from it for approximately 4.566. Since we're rounding our answer to the nearest tenth, we want to use the 6, which will tell us to round the 5 up to a 6. So our area of the shaded segment will be approximately 4.6 meters squared. Now's your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and do the lesson check. Don't forget to check your answers on the next slide. If you have any questions regarding the lesson check, be sure to ask me in class. Now that you really understand areas of circles and sectors, go ahead and give the challenge question a try. Take another minute to reread the learning goal and the scale. Have you climbed any higher on the scale than where you were before we began the lesson? If you did the challenge, Here's the answer.